Preserving crop diversity and perhaps even the future of life on Earth happens in the world's most barren landscape, the Arctic Circle. A slice of concrete pokes out from a frozen landscape a stone's throw from the North Pole. It marks the spot where the ultimate seed library holds the genetic keys to human survival. Locked behind five doors inside a mountain 130 meters above sea level, a series of tunnels leads here. Some call it the most important room in the world. It was built to withstand explosions, climate meltdown, and to last 200 years. The seeds are stored in a chamber that is cooled to minus 18 degrees. Even if there was a power cut, the vault would take decades to reach zero, thanks to a layer of insulating permafrost. On this side, we have wooden boxes from Tajikistan, Armenia over there, uh, some from Azerbaijan. These are from Colombia. There is an international center, SEAT, in Colombia. Uh, we have Portugal, Costa Rica, this row is from Zambia, Ukraine here, and uh, from International Potato Center in Peru here. And uh, it's important that we have seeds from North Korea to South Korea here. These are from South Korea. On the other side, we have boxes from North Korea. Okay. So, all countries cooperate here in this great mission of um, serving seats. They might be uh, not the best friends outside, but in here, every country is cooperating. It has earned the nickname the Doomsday Vault, as it's supposed to preserve Earth's agricultural diversity in a worst-case scenario. One of those cases happened in 2015, when seeds from Syria were retrieved, when their seed vault in Aleppo was shut down as fighting had made it inaccessible. ICADA, an organization aiming to improve agriculture in dry zones, withdrew samples to duplicate the Aleppo Bank as closely as possible. And in February this year, they returned 15,000 samples to deposit as a backup of the backup. The Svalbard Vault was created for moments like this, a global insurance policy to ensure the genetic wealth of agricultural production for the future.